Okay, hello grade 10, good day, mabuhay. So, this is Larry M. Del Rosario again. So, yung topic na i-discuss natin ngayong araw under K-12 Learners Module in Mathematics 10, under pa din ng Lesson 1, which is all about Arithmetic Sequence, ay yung Activity 11. Of course, this presentation was made by yours truly with answer and solution. So, yung title ng Activity Number 11 sa Learners Module ay What? Can you insert? The reason why it is called what can you insert because the activity is all about arithmetic means. When we talk about arithmetic means, ito yung mga terms sa pagitan ng first, ng given na first and last terms. Again, given yung first and last terms, ito yung mga terms na ilalagay natin sa pagitan nila. Okay. Para mas maitindihan nyo kung ano ba yung arithmetic means, let's answer activity number 11. So, our task is to insert the indicated number of arithmetic means between the given first and last terms of an arithmetic sequence. Again, given yung first and last terms, and our task is to insert the indicated number of arithmetic means. So, sa given na to, yung naka-bracket, ayan, itong naka-bracket na to, this indicates kung ilang, kung ilang arithmetic mean yung i-insert natin. Okay, into and 32. Lagi nyong tatandaan kapag dalawa lang yung given, ay, isa lang yung pagitan ng first and last term. Let's say, for example, this one, we have 2 and 32 and then isa lang yung pagitan. So, it could be visualized as 2 blank 32. So, we are going to look for the missing term sa pagitan. Ang gagawin nyo lang ay ia-add yung dalawang term, yung first and last term, at i-divide nyo sa 2. At kung ano yung magiging sagot nyo, yun na yung sagot nyo doon sa middle term. Let's say, for example, we have 2 and 32, so we simply have 2 plus 32, so we have 34 divided by 2, 34 divided by 2 is 17. So our answer, number 1, is 17. In number 2, we have 6 and 54. 6 is the first term, 54 is the last term, and we have to insert 3 arithmetic means. Okay, so lagi nyong tatandaan, in arithmetic means, uh, crucial yung paghahanap ng common difference. So ang task natin talaga ay mahanap yung common difference. Why? Because hindi natin makukuha yung missing terms hindi natin alam yung common difference. And hindi natin makukuha yung common difference just by looking at the terms. Kasi, wala tayong magkasunod na term na pwede isubtract. Diba, makukuha lang naman natin yung common difference simply by subtracting two consecutive terms. Pero this time, wala tayong magkasunod na term. So, wala tayong choice kundi i-derive yung formula for the common difference. So, bago natin i-derive, so we have the... We can visualize 6 and 54 and 3 arithmetic means by this. So, 6, blank, 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 and... 54. So, our task is to look for D. Pag nahanap natin si D, i-add na lang natin siya each term to get the next term. Okay, so, upon derivation, so, ang deri derivation ng ating common difference ay D is equal to A sub N minus A sub 1 all over N minus 1. Wherein, yung A sub N natin ay yung last term natin, yung A sub 1 ay yung first term natin, yung N ay yung position ng last term, n minus 1. Okay. So, kung gusto nyo magkaroon ng separate video regarding kung paano na-derive yung formula dun sa nth term ng arithmetic sequence, just comment it on our comment section so that I can create a separate video for it. Ngayon, kung wala namang magko-comment, uh, okay, I'm not going to create separate video on it. Okay. Using the formula, we are just going to substitute. So, D is equal to A sub N, yung last term natin, that is 54, minus A sub 1, which is 6, divided by yung position ng N. So, we are just going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that is 5 minus 1. 54 minus 6 is 48, divided by 5 minus 1 is 4. So, 48 divided by 4 is 12. So, our answer is 6 plus 12 is 18, plus 12 is 30, plus 12 is 42, and plus 12 is 54. 
Okay, since I derived na nga yung formula, so in number 3, we have the given 6 to 8 and 3. And our task is to, to insert 4 arithmetic means. So our first, it can be visualized in the form of 68, apat na blanco, and then 3. So our task is to look for the common difference. So gagamitin pa din natin yung formula natin sa pagkuha ng common difference, which is D equals A sub N minus A sub 1 all over N minus 1. Where a sub n is the last term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the position of the last term, minus 1. So a sub n is 3, minus our a sub 1 is 68, all over the position of our a sub uh, ng ating last term ay 6, kasi bibilang tayo ulit, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, minus 1. 3 minus 68 is negative 65, divided by 6 minus 1, which is 5. And negative 65 divided by 5 is negative 13. So, mag add lang tayo ng negative 13 each term. So, 68 plus negative 13 is 55, plus negative 13 is 42, plus negative 13 is 29, plus negative 13 is 16, plus negative 13 is 3. So in in number 4 we have the uh, we have the first term 10 and fourth and last term 40 so we are going to insert five arithmetic means so it can be visualized as 10 limang blank and then 40 So gagamitin pa din natin yung ating formula so, yung last term natin ay 40, ima-minus lang natin siya kay first term which is 10. So, 40 minus 10 is 30. Then, pang ilang, ano yung position ng ating 40? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 minus 1 which is 6. So, 30 divided by 6 is 5. So, mag add lang tayo ng 5. We have 10 plus 5, 15 plus 5, 20 plus 5, 25 plus 5, 30 plus 5, 35 plus 5 is 40. So, this is our answer. In number 5, we have the sequence first term which is a, which is 1 half and the last term which is 2. So, we are going to insert Two arithmetic means. So, it can be visualized, visualized as 1 half, dalawang blank, and then 2. So, gamit yung formula, we have yung last term natin ay 2 minus yung 1 half all over yung position ng last term which is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 minus 1. D is equal to 2 minus 1 half is 3 over 2 divided by 4 minus 1 is 3. And then D is equal to 3 over 2, kukunin lang natin yung reciprocal ng 3, yung kabaligtaran niya. So, we have, instead of 3, we will have we will now have 1 third. And then, we will proceed to multiplication. So, 3 over 2 times 1 third. 3 times numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So, 3 times 1 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, and the simplified form of 3 over 6 is 1 half. So, our answer is 1 half plus 1 half is 1, plus 1 half is 3 over 2, or 1 and 1 half, plus 1 half is 2. So, in number 6, we have the first term, negative 4, and the last term, 8. So, our task is to insert 3 arithmetic means. So, it can be visualized as negative 4, blank, 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 and then 8. Okay, so our task is to look for the common difference. So, given the formula, Ayan, so a sub n minus a sub 1 all over n minus 1. Yung ating last term ay 8 minus the first term which is negative 4 all over yung n natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 minus 1. So 8 minus negative 4. So negative times negative, we have positive. So it will become 8 plus, simply 8 plus 4. So we have 8 plus 4 equals 12. 5 divided by 5 minus 1 which is 4. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. So, yung gagawin lang natin, i-add lang natin si 3, we have negative 4 plus 3, negative 1 plus 3, 2 plus 3, 5 plus 3 is 8. Okay, for number 7, we have the first term negative 16 and the last term negative 8. And then, we are going to insert 3 arithmetic means. So, it can be visualized at, as negative 16, that long blank, and then negative 8. So, we have to look for D. So, D is equal to A sub N minus A sub 1 all over N minus 1. Okay.
ay sorry so nagkaroon lang tayo ng problema maybe because of my presentation hindi ko na edit yung ating solution so I'll give it to you as as assignment na lang so you can comment the answer on the comment section okay so hindi ko kasi nabago yung ating yung aking um, solution so nakapi paste ko lang siya dun sa dun sa previous question so the next is we have the first term one third and yung last term natin ay 11 over 3 so our task is to insert four arithmetic means okay so we have one third and then one two three four and then we have 11 over three so our task is to look for d Para hindi kayo mahirapan. As you notice, di ba, magkakamuka lang naman siya na over 3. Okay. So, pwede nyong alisin muna yung denominator kung nahihirapan kayo sa fraction. Then, yung final answer ninyo, lagyan nyo na lang ng over 3 after nyong makuha yung sagot. Okay. So, D is equal to A sub N minus A sub 1 all over N minus 1. D is equal to yung ating last term ay 11, inalis ko lang yung over 3, minus yung 1, inalis ko yung ulit yung over 3, divided by yung position niya ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we have 6 minus 1. D is equal to 11 minus 1 is 10, divided by 6 minus 1 is 5. So, 10 divided by 5 is 2. Tapos, maglalagay lang tayo ng over 3, yung inalis natin kanina. So, we have 2 over 3. And then, we're just going to add 2 over 3 to each term. So, 1 third plus 2 over 3 is 1, plus 2 over 3 is 5 third, plus 2 over 3 is 7 over 3, plus 2 over 3 is 9 over 3, plus 2 over 3 is 11 over 3. So, in number 9, again, sa so number 9, kung makapansin nyo, isang arithmetic mean lang ang hinahanap. So, ang gagawin lang natin ay, i-add yung dalawang term divided by Two, kasi nga, diba, isa lang, gaya ng example natin sa number 1. So, hindi naman natin pwedeng pagsamahin or i-add si A at si B. So, we can just simply retain it as A plus B divided by 2, so or simply A plus B all over 2. So, ang last term natin, we have X plus Y and 4X minus 2Y. We are, our task is to insert two arithmetic means. So, we have x plus y as first term, blank, blank, 4x minus 2y. So, ang, ang gagawin lang natin ulit formula ay d equals a sub n minus a sub 1 all over n minus 1. Okay, yung a sub n natin or last term ay 4x minus 2y minus yung ating first term ay x plus y. So, this time, kung mapapansin nyo, um, Nilagyan ko siya ng open and close parenthesis because of the minus sign. Crucial kasi yung minus sign. Kailangan i-distribute natin yung sign niya each term. So, dito sa may 4x minus 2y, wala namang minus sa labas. So, we can write it as it is. Dito, yung negative siya, so positive si x, magiging negative x. Dito, negative siya, positive si y, magiging negative y. Then, 4 minus 1 is 3. Then, pagsamahin lang natin lahat ng like terms, yung 4x minus x is 3x. Negative 2y minus y is negative 3y divided by 3. Okay, so since we have 3 as denominator and as you notice, meron pa tayong common factor sa 3x and 3y. So, pwede natin ilabas si 3. After natin ilabas si 3, so we will, we will now have 3 times x minus y all over 3. So, pwede na natin i-cancel si 3 kasi meron na siyang common uh, common factor na siya. So, ang matitira na lang ay x minus y. So, i-add lang natin si x minus y each term. So, we have x plus y plus x minus y is 2x plus x minus y is 3x minus y plus x minus y is 4x minus 2y. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you learned something on our discussion for the uh, for the activity 11, 11, which is all about what can you insert. Yung number 7, I'll, okay, so I'll leave it as an assignment sa inyo. So, you can feel free to comment the answer. So, kapag nilike ko, meaning your answer is correct. Kapag hindi ko siya nilike, I will reply kung ano yung correct answer niya. Okay, so thank you for watching. Do not forget to like the video if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel. And thank you and God bless.